Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today is arguably one of the most important parts of the garage renovation, and it is flooring. If you guys couldn't tell by the thumbnail, by the title, by everything about this whole series. Gosh, I'm so excited for the flooring. You guys have no idea. These boxes have been staring at me for the last few days. We got in the mail very quickly, I should say. Shout out to Viver on that one. V-E-V-O-R floor tiles. I came across these guys by watching a couple YouTube videos on people like doing reviews. I was looking at Swiss tracks. I was looking at race stack. I was looking at some other budget options and ultimately came across these because of the testimonies I saw from other YouTubers price and the style. Obviously these are like drainage floor kind of style tiles. So that's exactly what I wanted to go for in this garage. I figured we got some beautiful lighting in this room right now. Let's unbox these and then take them outside to the garage. It's about 30 degrees in Michigan right now. So we're doing the unboxing inside. Hope you guys don't mind. We're kind of doing this in my office right now, which is newly renovated with this artwork from my buddy Reed. Shout out Reed. I know you watch the videos. Thank you so much. Ah, I love this space now. It's like my little oasis in here. Let's get to unboxing. I'll show you guys exactly the pattern that we're doing and the color scheme, everything. Let's do it, let's unbox. We're gonna reveal color number one out of two. Ta-da! Here we are. Mmm, smells like uh, Home Depot. I don't know how to explain it, but like that good hardware store, you smell when you like walk in, you're like, mm, yeah, this is the smell. So maybe our lighting's too good. We got some crazy glare and reflection, but these are the tiles themselves. That's a little better lighting. The drainage tiles for the garage from Beaver. Ladies and gents, one foot by one foot sections gonna be how we put them together. As you can tell, two sides are flat. Two sides have these female ends with kind of like these snap into place deals on the other side. So super easy to put together. Based on the videos and reviews that I've seen, it should only take us a couple hours. I do have some cutting to do around the existing cabinets in the garage. So that'll be kind of something we learn together. But each one of these boxes has 25 tiles. So let me show you guys exactly how that's broken up with what our plan is here. I have three of these boxes in the black tiles, it's 75 tiles, and 13 of these boxes, which we will reveal the color right now. So I've only seen the black ones in person, have not unboxed any of these gray ones yet. So this will be like a real time reveal and reaction. Let's see the kind of shade we're working with. Ooh, yeah. That is just perfect. There we go. I'll put these side by side so you can see the difference between the two colors. And I absolutely love how these tiles look when they're like at an angle to the camera. It, it's like, it's almost like a little trick on the eyes. You'll see when I install them what I mean. But as far as the product themselves, I was super impressed with how quickly these got shipped. And I'm impressed with the quality. This is something where it's uh, one foot by one foot and a half inch thick. And obviously you can drive a car on them. They're pretty darn sturdy. The weight is dispersed on this backside here by all these little ridges and edges. So that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing goes. I just gotta repeat this 15 more times. And we're gonna start laying these down in the garage. I have a pattern in mind that I wanna do, but I wanna actually go outside and visualize it, kind of plan out what I'm doing, so. That's next. All right, ladies and gents, forgive me, I'm a bit out of breath. I just carried all these from inside to outside and I'm out of shape. Finally got them in the garage, We're gonna lay them out, starting from this front area. And then what I'm gonna do is gray on the outside, do a black border, kind of like here, and the black border is gonna carry over yonder, kind of like that around the outside, so. You get the vision. I think there's only one thing to do. It's start laying. At least get these out of the boxes and just go to town. It's cold out here. Because Michigan decided to give us a 29 degree day in late March. So we're going gloves on as well. For the pure warmth factor. That trim baseboard is on the way, by the way, it's in the mail. So that'll be here hopefully shortly. So good 
good news is these are turning out sweet. It's kind of tough to see with the lighting, literally just because of the lighting right now. It's kind of weird, got like this open, but let's see it here, kind of the deal we're going with. So I think this is just perfect. Obviously I gotta move this to get it all lined up and then I'm honestly gonna like mop these because <laughs> they get pretty dusty easily. So did a good job of lining things up initially here and gonna just keep attacking this. Probably time lapse it. Catch you guys here in a bit. All right, so I wanna mention right now, there is a right and wrong way to install these. Don't do what I did here. I'm gonna actually unclip this part uh, because you have to go one way, otherwise you're gonna try putting these underneath each other and it's gonna be a pain and you're gonna wish you didn't do that. So what I'm gonna do is just do, actually wait, no, it doesn't make sense at all. So I have to do the same thing. I'm gonna start down there. That's what I have to do. I just realized that as I was trying to explain it to you. So I'm gonna actually unclip this. <laughs> Ignore everything I just said. We're starting down here. We're gonna go this way. I was in a groove there for a minute. This is good. It's so awesome, you can't even see the floor unless you're like standing right above it. But even then, like I spilled some drywall, some paint. Can't see it, which is awesome. Whew. This is really not taking that long. I think I'm maybe an hour in total, which is amazing because we should have this portion to do. I am gonna have to cut some of these tiles. Absolutely cruising, which is amazing. It looks so good. You can tell it's transforming the space already. Again, tough to tell with the lighting, but this black border over here just looks amazing. I decided we're gonna go with like a clean, kind of one foot off black border. Gray all the way back here. And then obviously you guys know I got this weird little ledge. So we're gonna see how many leftover tiles we have. It's a weird, unique little garage thing with a DIY from a previous owner, but that's where we're at so far. Let's just time-lapse knock out all this. kind of picturing it. Forgot you kind of have to go this way. So, oops, we'll figure it out. Next is the cutting section. I think besides this small area, we have three extra boxes, by the way, which is 75 square feet, 25. I think we should be able to cover potentially. Ugh. I think it's gonna look so buttoned up once it has, first of all, the trim, the baseboard around the edge, and then all of this, I'm gonna bust out the Saw, get something to mark these tiles with. Oh, we got extra in here. Oh, and wait a minute, we might have, we might have enough, ladies and gents. We just might. So the method I'm using here is placing one of these guys down here, taking one of these and marking it with this highlighter. I'm gonna make a cut here. I'm colorblind. I don't know if anybody else can see that. Looks good to me. I do want there to be a bit of a gap. Don't want it so tight we can't fit it, but that should be perfect for us. Update for the folks at home. The skill saw, circular saw is just way overpowered. Started throwing chunks of this plastic stuff. Not the best. We are downsizing <laughs> in the power to a jigsaw. I think this is gonna work better for us. making a mess. Might do this outside. We'll see how this works for our corner piece. Ugh. It's just about the gap we want. Perfect. That's just what we want. Just like that. And again, that's the perfect gap that I want. So I'm just gonna keep doing this around over here and the rest. I've got a lot of cutting to do, so I might just zoom through this. 
at least to like over here and then come back in a second. So we have this edging all done, which looks amazing. Really like how it looks with that kind of stainless steel almost kind of look bottom. Got it all buttoned up here. Trim is gonna cover that. And then we have these extra boxes and what's left here. So it's right about four feet, which is perfect. So I'm just gonna do four more all the way down and move my wheels first. <sighs> this whole right side, all done. A little gap, which there is. So if I really, really am feeling it, <sighs> I can make it fixed. But we kind of uh, spanned this gap here. So there's a little bit of like a little cushion, but me walking across, it's fine. Unless you're tripping on it. Looks good, I'm a little bit tired. Didn't take that long, uh, including a trip to Lowe's. I think maybe just a few hours of the actual install and I'm just here by myself. So I'm happy with it. I really like how this looks, like around the cabinets. So that I think was major. And I know I was talking about it, I actually just got the trim from the Amazon delivery. So when it's all buttoned up, I think it's gonna be just perfect. I love how this looks. And for just a fraction of what you'd be paying for something like Swiss tracks or race deck, I think, I think this is worth it. it. Looks so good. We just gotta get the lighting now. I don't want the car to be in here while it's dirty, but I kinda wanna park the car in here just to see what it looks like. stuff I think was about $90 gonna go all around the base and up here as well pretty self-explanatory just peel it off and stick it on let's do it I think that looks really good on the um, cabinets I need to do like an all-purpose cleaner and get this little bit of gunk off it's in the corners but then that'll be finished I think it looks really really good <laughs> I'm so happy with how this looks heck yeah it's looking like a real garage, which is the goal. Whew, time to clean up. Ladies and gents, it's been a couple days since we finished the flooring install. It looks amazing. Again, Viva floor tiles are 100% the move. I can't stress it enough. The amount of like, just pure quality, looks, style, price, everything aligned, which is like super rare. I was a bit skeptical, I'll be honest, because this was like a third of the price of everything else, but hands down, it's got my thumbs up. Unbiased opinion, if you're thinking about it, do it. I know there's only a few videos on YouTube that I saw that cover the Viva tiles, but it's got the Kev G stamp of approval. The garage is coming together, we got the dartboard hung up, we got the car in the garage looking nice. I think next we gotta get this lighting done, ladies and gents. It's lacking a little bit with this old fluorescent light from the 1920s. Ladies and gents, if you enjoyed the video, hit subscribe. Stick around because this garage build is not done yet. Hit the like button for the algorithm. It truly helps. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's hit 25,000 subscribers. We're so close. Till next time, we'll see you.